Yes. Before the French Revolution, cultural music was really just a part of aristocracy. They're the only ones that could do uh, performances in their palaces uh, or their opera houses. After the French Revolution, the, uh, the middle class was created, really, a business class, uh, the owners of uh, small businesses or even large businesses. And they then wanted to ape, if you will, the uh, aristocracy's abil ability to uh, have great events that are under their own aegis. And uh, this built right through, say, the Civil War era, where the idea of a musical soiree in a home became very fashionable. Uh, people like uh, Chopin would play their music for friends uh, in a, uh, a soiree. Well, one of the great historic examples is Franz Schubert, who would have uh, all of his friends together for what they called Schubertiad, a evening of Schubert. There would be his new piano works. There would be perhaps a string quartet. There would be songs. Schubert wrote 600 great songs, and uh, they would be heard for the first time in these great party, musical parties in a room. Uh, this built through all of the 19th century and was really only kind of squashed, uh, if uh, perhaps diminished, by the advent of the uh, gramophone, when record players brought all kinds of music to any buyer's hands at Game Changer, just as TV uh, changed and almost killed movies. Movies had to adjust because of, of TV. Well, these are great uh, moments of change. What uh, Orchestra England is going to visit on April 11 in this room is a musical soiree uh, with Chopin and the music of Johann Strauss, the great waltz king. Uh, 